2024 has arrived and I am very excited to see where this new year will lead me. I have a lot of fun things planned. I definitely want to do way more with this channel and I'm just very excited. But before before I, I do new year new me things i thought i wanted to quickly look back at my 2023 at everything that i created and crafted last year and just i don't know sort of leave this year as kind of a diary entry for myself and maybe maybe with this i can also inspire you to to i don't know to to be creative this year to create beautiful things and maybe you can also inspire me or other people in the comments who commenting about your favorite project that you or your favorite thing that you created last year or if you're not an arts and crafts person just something that you're proud of that you achieved last year and maybe also something that you're looking forward to this year yeah i thought that would be kind of a a nice end to 2023 and a nice way to start this year also my my bird will maybe provide us with, with beautiful background music again so sorry about that he's just a little guy yes what what did i craft last year i started my creative 2023 with a project that i started the year prior so in 2022 with this knitted cardigan um yeah i started this in i think december 2022 and then i finished it in 2023 in january and my plan was to also embroider the sleeves which i didn't do but i will still do it I, I can still do it yeah i turned it a little bit smaller than i wanted to but i think it's still cute I like it. I like wearing it. It keeps me very warm and yeah, very nice. After I finished that, I already was planning my 21st birthday. I, my birthday is at the end of April, but I started planning it like even back in December of 2022. I planned this birthday like some people plan their weddings because I thought it would be very cool to throw a cottage core themed birthday party. I told all my friends that I invited that I didn't want any presents just for them. It would be nice if they, they try to dress like cottage corey. And they did. And it was very nice. But I also wanted to um, make a bunch of decorations for it my, my, myself. And, and that is what I did. Starting with this thing. <laughs> it's like a thing you can put on a table. I don't know what it's called in English, but like put it on, you can put it on a table and then it looks pretty and I, it's cute. Look at sunflowers. This, by the way, will be important for my next video, which will finally be, be a crochet video again. Because my plan was from, from the beginning, from when I started making this, to after my birthday was done, to turn this into a cardigan. Because I don't really need like a thing you can put on a table on a daily basis. So I wanted to disassemble this and then make it more granny squares and turn it into a cardigan. And I haven't done that within a year. But I will still do it and I will turn it into a video. And if it turns out well and you want to, then I will make a free pattern or tutorial video on how to make a cardigan. This cardigan that this will become if it works out. I don't know. Then this is the next video I have planned. So if you want to see that, go subscribe. Yay. So that, that is the first thing I did for my cottage party birthday party. And then also I like had to do something out of stained glass. So I made leaves, a bunch of different leaves. And also, wait, oh god, it's all falling. These like little oval charms, things, sun, sun catchers with flowers on it that I painted. I invited 12 friends, I think, and I made 12 of these. So then when they left, they all got, got to choose one of these stained glass things. And then, of course, I wanted to make an outfit myself. It was the first time sewing in a very long time, so it turned out a bit wonky and stuff. But I'm still proud of it. I think it turned out cute. It's like, not, it's nowhere near perfect, but it's cute, okay? I made this corset and I embroidered it myself. This is when I started embroidering. This was the first embroidery piece I did. And look, oh my God, so beautiful. So this, and then I also made a linen skirt. I'm going to put that on in a second so you can see it better. And then I I bought a blouse, blouse, blouse that I wore to it. I didn't make this myself because I wasn't confident enough. I think it turned out very pretty and beautiful. I liked it. Next up, what, what do we have? this yes a little stained glass icelandic horse is what i made after that i made this for my mom for her office uh, it's still missing a like wooden block where it can stand in but i really like this design i had this design for like a while but i never made an actual glass piece out of it and last year i finally did and i i love it i want to make one for myself in green for my bookshelf 
So I will do that this year, probably. Yes. Next up are more stained glass projects where I made these two pet portraits of the animals of my riding instructor, my former riding instructor. A horse and her dog was the first pet, pet portrait I made. And I think, except for like the sort of lines, it turned out very well and nice. Very cute. And I also made it fitting so that I can put it into an, a, a wooden frame. After that I was preparing for a like street fair festival thing where my friend and I got to have a little stand where we could set our art. And for that I made flower necklaces stained glass flower necklaces. I collected a bunch of flowers, pressed them and then put them into this and I made a bunch of those. And I love them all. I didn't want to sell them because I wanted to keep them all for myself because they are so beautiful. And I also made zodiac sign necklaces. This is a Taurus. So this, I made, I painted the star constellation on one side and then, oh wait, the star sign symbol on the other and I made 24 of those two per sign and I also really like those. I still have a few left and I want to open up an online store in hopefully January, maybe February and I will be selling those there so stay tuned. After that I sketched something. Wow I actually, wow, did something painting related once. I sketched a self-portrait in this book that gives you like art prompts and I meant to turn this into a video series where I would like sketch something every week but then I didn't. I uploaded this video and then I made it private like two days later, I think, because I thought this was a bad idea. I, I won't be able to sketch something every week. I don't have that much self-control, but this is at least one thing I made. Look, it's me. Now it's time for a bunch of birthdays. Well, not a bunch of, but two birthdays. Um, I have two friends whose birthdays are in summer. And for the first one, me and a few other friends, I got her a bunch of Avatar The Last Airbender themed gifts. And we put it, like I built it a, a little cabbage stand out of cardboard. And then we glued little cabbages to the present so that it looked like she got the cabbage stand. And I also made some stained glass pieces. I made her a stained glass upper. And this like four nation thing, starting with... I don't know, you can't really tell that it's, it's the air nomads, the fire nation, earth kingdom and the water tribes. And it's like the avatar cycle. Very nice. And then another friend of mine had her birthday and we, she, she really likes reading and fantasy and stuff. So a, a, a different friend and I got her a bunch of fantasy themed gifts. And then we thought it would be a great idea, idea to write a whole like fantasy short story with us three in it so we three were all in the story and then also her presents were in the story and whenever one present was mentioned she like got to open the present and got the present i mainly did the storied writing because i really like writing and then my friend hand copied the story into a book and illustrated it and that was very cool and then we like kidnapped my friend and took her to like this beautiful area at a river and brought picnic stuff and she could read her, her book and got her she got her presents and that was great and i also made this stained glass leaf of floor and from Lord of the Rings. Yes. And yeah, okay, we get we got a singing bird. I'm sorry, I'm just I'm just going to continue talking. Talk through the noise? Yes. Then it was time for my channel. I think. No, no, I created the channel before that, but this is like I, I count this as my first real video, the Apex Legends patch that I made, because yeah, this was when I actually started, I don't know, making videos before I just crafted things, filmed it and then did a little silly voiceover and I kind of don't like the first videos that I made. I mean all my videos are bad, but hey, at least they're getting a little bit better. But yeah, I count this as my official first video. And it's an Apex Legends patch I made for a friend of my brother. After that, it's already time for the spooky series that I made um, for this channel. So so if you've been following me, you, you probably know these projects. Is that annoying? I feel like that is very annoying. Okay, spooky series. Yes, starting off with this beautiful spooky crochet sweater that I made. And this is also where like most people found me, I think. This video got a lot of views and a lot of you liked it. And I'm I'm very glad you did. And I'm, I'm happy about all the, the positive and nice comments I got. And yeah, it was just a, a lot of fun to see my channel grow through this. So thanks to this sweater, thanks to the artist who created this pattern. Also, I just, I love this sweater. I wore this way too much in October and also after that. The second thing I created for the sp spooky series were these spooky stamps. I made stamps myself. I made a little pumpkin, a bat, scary ghost, cat, and a spider. That was a lot of fun. I, I really liked stamp making. It was like very easy and fun product. That was cool. Right, after that I made 
stained, spooky stained glass things for my friends and I don't have pictures of them now so I will just put pictures up here somewhere but you can also watch the video if you want. I made a stained glass bed and a stained glass ghost holding a little pumpkin for her. The third spooky project, yes, no, fourth, I can count. The fourth spooky project I made was a spooky painting. I will also put a picture somewhere up here and it turn, didn't turn out as brother in Christ. It didn't turn out as great as I wanted to but I broke my toe that week. So there's that. But I still did a spooky painting here. Wow. Yay. Great. Next up on the list was knitting and I made this knitted spider which I really like. It has six legs but it had only six legs in the instructions and I kind of thought it looked great. I also knitted the wrong way when making the head so now it's kind of it's special but it's cute and it lives in my bookshelf now. And then for the last spooky thing I made this embroidery pattern a pumpkin that you can find for free on my channel. I will link the video here. After having finished the spooky series it took a very very long time for me to upload another video and that was due to one of my horses getting injured and I was basically living at the stables at the time so I didn't really have time and energy to create a new video which I'm sorry because like I wanted to upload way more videos last year but then I couldn't or didn't and yeah but it's fine. I will make up for it this year but I still created a, a few things just for myself or for friends or in this case for my mom because she liked my spooky sweater so much and then we together made this crochet sweater for her it's the the pattern from the spooky sweater just different colors after that i did another crochet piece i made this top for my friend for her birthday and this is also a pattern that i found on etsy and i will link the artist in the description if you want to make this is it was a lot of fun to make and it looks great so if you want to make this yourself you can find the pattern in the description after that yes after that i did did manage to upload a new video and I made this. I painted on my furniture to make my room more interesting. Yeah, my floor is very dirty because these guys keep throwing food at my floor. Why? But yeah, look, I painted that and it's very great. And I hit this little little horse that I'm obsessed with in here. If you watch this video, video, you will know that I have like a bunch of these horses in my room and I just love them. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that was that was a project I really had fun with because I haven't at that point painted in a very long time, as, uh, or at least not with traditional mediums. And I like I had a lot of fun painting again. So now I want to like do an actual painting on actual canvas soon because I kind of didn't realize how much I missed that. I guess so. Now we're already in November, I think. I think the painting. Yeah, I did the painting in November. Year is almost over, but that was not the last thing I created. Um, because I also made this. <laughs> because my friends and I for some reason thought that it was going to be a great idea to like make reaper and enderman hats and turn up like this at like another friend's birthday. I was very funny. Wait, I have the hat still. Yeah, I think, I think the friend whose birthday it was now regrets that he's friends with us, but it was very funny. <laughs> Next up we have another birthday, a friend of mine, and I made her a mirror stained glass mirror and it's like it, it's it's a reflection of her i made little elephants painted little elephants down here because that's her favorite animal and then the whole thing is like pink because that's her favorite color her favorite flower is a rose so i put pressed roses up here then you can't see but there's her star sign here here's her name no there's her name and i painted little icons of things she likes on here so it's a mirror that reflects her literally and also metaphorically kind of yes now second to last thing i created and this is another pet portrait of my friend's dog that sadly passed this year so i made her this stained glass portrait and now we come to the last thing that i made this year and those are just a few illustrations a guy from the stable that our horses live at wrote a little christmas story for christmas and he included all of our horses and that was very sweet and i illustrated a few scenes because i thought it was very cute and i'm going to put up little pictures here somewhere yeah I illustrated that. And this is everything I made this year. I think 2023, it was definitely an interesting year, I'd say that. But uh, creatively, it was very great. I started this channel. I had a lot of fun with this channel. And I, yeah, I'm just looking forward to this year, to whatever it will bring. And I'm excited. I already told you what my next video is. It will be, as I said, another crochet video. I will have to make a bunch of granny squares again. I will commit my entire life to crocheting again so that 
this will come out somewhat soon um yeah so i i will i will just i will become a crochet needle and i will do my very best that it won't take like three months and until the next video I, I will definitely keep creating you won't get rid of me that easily i am here now forever um deal with it <laughs> no um yeah i'm excited i have a bunch of things planned for this year also for this channel and i i would like i love it if you would follow me on my journey yeah yeah go subscribe if you like these chaotic videos they are all like this i don't know what's wrong with me it's just chaos here but that's also fun so yeah go subscribe if you're interested in these videos and leave a comment about your past year about what you've planned for this year i would love to hear about i don't know your life not in a stalking way but like tell me fun things <laughs> <laughs> and i will see you again next time